Hi folks, Sonia Ash here from Ash Design. Today I want to show you how to use our wood frame uh, chalkboard signs. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, you'll see that we've got two layers in the file. Uh, one is the text layer and then the bottom layer is the frame. So let's go ahead and edit the text first. I'm going to go grab my text tool and let's go ahead and highlight, uh, highlight the text here. Actually, I'm just going to highlight the number uh, because I want this to be, want it to read one month old. I'll come down here and get rid of that S. And that looks pretty good right there. So now the next thing uh, we'll do is we'll want to add it to a photo. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select both uh, by holding down the shift key. I'm going, to, I'm going to click on one layer and I'm going to click on the frame layer. So now I've got them both selected. Then I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag it up to my photo tab, which I already have open, and then I'm going to drop it onto the canvas. So now you can see that these <clears throat> two layers have been added. Um, and while they're both selected, we want to go ahead and we want to scale them down. So Control T on your keyboard. And while you're holding down your Shift key, you want to grab any of these four corners here to scale it down proportionally. Now, Let's go ahead and scale it down to about where we want it, which I think is right about there. And if you look over here, uh, you'll see the width and height. You can see we've scaled it down about 22%. Um, and I'll tell you why that is important. Let's go ahead and hit uh, enter on the keyboard to apply that transformation. And I'm going to zoom in here. Now, Let's move this over sort of in place where we want it. You'll see that this chalkboard um, style, uh, it gets a little wonky when you scale down like that. Now, I, we made note of the percentage that we reduced it because what we want to do is we want to reduce that style by the same percentage. So let's come up here to the effects, uh, and we're going to right-click on it, and we're going to do Scale Effects. And we're going to put 22 and you can see how it's scaled that down as well. Um, that's sort of ballpark. I might even bump this up to maybe 25. I think that looks a little bit better, but it's in the ballpark of where you want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then for a finishing touch, um, I'd say let's, let's put a drop shadow on this chalkboard frame. So I'm going to double click on this. And that'll bring up our blending options. Um, you can also right click and choose blending options. And let's go ahead and add a drop shadow. You can see how it added a slight one there. I'm going to make that a little bit, I'm going to click on that so I can get my drop shadow preferences over here. Um, and let's bring the size up. Maybe in the 50 mark. And then maybe we can sort of, um, offset this somewhat over here and move the, de the distance. Um, you can sort of play around with that until it looks the way you like it. Um, go ahead and we'll click OK. And then we'll zoom out and take a look at our creation. We've got four wooden frames in this collection to help make your designs one of a kind, so go ahead and have some fun with this. Mm -hmm. 